What's up everybody? So today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys um, some of the steps that I took in order to manifest labor and delivery. Um, so let's just hop right into it. <laughs> days, weeks of my pregnancy, I was beyond miserable, okay? I just, not even lying, like I hated everything. Um, and that can happen to a lot of people. But me knowing how to take the steps to manifest something, I wanted to try it out and see if I would be able to um, actually manifest labor and delivery. For anyone that is less than 38 weeks pregnant, just be cautious and be careful and always, always, always talk to your doctor to make sure that everything is safe and everything. Obviously, don't. I'm not saying go to your doctor and say, how do I manifest this? I'm not saying that. I'm saying make sure that your baby is safe and healthy before you try taking any extra steps. I'm not a doctor, so I can't, you know, say what's right to do and what's not. So I'm just sharing what helped me um, to be able to manifest. So let's start with step number one. So the first thing that I did, first action that I took to help manifest labor and delivery was to get our hospital bags ready. So what I did was made a list of everything actually i found a list online that i went by and um, got everything ready that we would need for the hospital as if we were going the very next day my other kids were staying with my mom so i made them a backpack full of their clothes extra diapers socks and shoes and some snacks so while i was packing the bags in my mind i was thinking okay so we're leaving tomorrow I was just it's it was just something that I wanted to play around with and have fun with so I was like yes we get to go to the hospital tomorrow so I can have the baby and da 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 da, da. so that's step number one step number two is write out a detailed birth plan so late one night after my kids had all went to sleep I went into the kitchen sat down at the table with my pen and paper and I wrote down every single thing that I could possibly think of that I wanted the nurses, doctors, and even the lunch ladies, cafeteria ladies to know about how I wanted my visit to go. So I let, I wrote down basically how I wanted to deliver, which was naturally pushing, how I wanted to, um, shower I even wrote down how I wanted to shower like I was like I plan on showering uh, twice a day while for the duration of my stay I plan on showering twice a day once in the morning and once at night which actually I didn't even take my birth plan to the hospital with me but I still think that this is a is an important step to take whenever you are wanting to do something like this because not only are you writing which is a very powerful tool to use to manifest point blank period. You're basically just writing what you want. And it's very important to do that, especially if you have a specific diet um, that you want the cafeteria to follow. That's something that you want the cafeteria to know. Step number three, yoga poses. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I didn't really do this a whole lot because <laughs> Like I said, when I was in my last weeks and days of being pregnant, I was miserable. And I was uncomfortable and I just didn't want to do anything. And that's for a lot of people. I'm not the only one that had that kind of experience. Now again, this is not something you want to do if you are less than 38 weeks pregnant because you want your baby to have a natural safe delivery. You don't want any complications. So that one's pretty much self-explanatory. Step number four, affirmations. Not only do these work in your every single day life and they're good for everything that you could possibly think of in order to manifest something or using the law of attraction, you could use affirmations first thing in the morning, during the day, 
and while you're sleeping. So you wanna keep your affirmations at a healthy guideline. You could say stuff like, I am healthy, my baby is healthy, my body is healthy. I'll try to put some stuff in the description below to um, help with that. Um, Cause now that I'm making the video, I can't seem to think of any affirmations. So I'll put some in the description. So number five, stay active, stay active. Even if it's just cleaning your house, even if it's just going out for a walk, you wanna keep your body in motion, which again is hard to do if you're miserable in your third trimester. Just try to walk as much as you possibly can. Like when I hit 38 weeks, they told me that I was dilated at a two and I was just like, okay, it's go time. Um, let's get to Walmart and just start walking around because um, it was cold outside. So we couldn't really go to the complex or to the park or anything, which I mean we could, but three other children and park and cold weather don't really go together. So I was like, let's just go to Walmart and I'll walk down every single aisle as fast as I possibly can just to try to help push things along. If you're not fully aware that you're using the law of attraction, it's still something that you could do. Stay active. You walk, 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 walk. Again, that one's pretty self-explanatory. Number six, finish nesting. It's just a point that you get to that you're just like, your body's motherly instincts kick in and you're just like, okay, I have a baby coming. I need to get some things done and prepare our nest for the new arrival. So basically it's something that kind of kicks in randomly near, it could happen any time during your pregnancy really that's pretty self-explanatory as well. I mean, you have everyone has a to-do list, things that they want to get done. Especially if you're in your third trimester and you're about to deliver, you've got things on your mind, if not wrote down somewhere, that you want to get done before the baby comes. Get those things done. Anything that's on your to-do list as far as your home, put your full attention and awareness into the things that you need to get done in order to finish nesting and preparing your home for the new baby. So it will kind of help push things along, not only in your mind, but in your reality. Number seven, focus on what you want, not on what you don't want. Some things that you could focus on, you could say the epidural works for me. And the only reason I say that during my second delivery, the epidural did not work for me and I had a lot of back labor, so it was really horrible. So um, I did get it in my third delivery and it worked pretty well. It only worked on one side though, up until I had went to push and then it worked pretty well, which is why I wanted to get it again because I was like, okay, well the epidural was amazing and I want to make sure that I don't feel any of that. However, do not expect anything because you never know how things are gonna go. If you're wanting to, or you have the blessing to be able to push naturally, you could say, pushing my baby out naturally works for me. Something in the present tense. You don't want it to be in the past or the future. You want it to be in the present, as if it's happening already. Number eight is to detach. What it means to detach is basically to unattach yourself from it, the outcome of the situation that you're trying to manifest or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. You don't want to be so fully attached to it like this has to happen. Basically, you just wanna let go of any expectation of the outcome that you may have. You just give it all to the universe or God or the source or whatever you choose to call it and let it go and just go on about your daily life. I mean, that's the best way to describe it <laughs> for me anyways. Thank you all for watching. Like I said, I'm just sharing my experience and the things that I put into action in order to help me manifest my labor and delivery. Whatever you decide to do or whatever happens for you, as long as you and your baby are healthy, that is all that really matters. Make sure you guys subscribe, like this video, share this video, and leave a comment down below if you have any comments. Love to hear you guys' feedback. And I will see you guys in the next video.